What's up everyone, welcome to the channel, Cruiser's Corner. Behind me is my 2002 Honda Shadow 1100 Sabre. And today I'm gonna to change the oil on it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna to do today, that's awesome. Got Emily here, she's gonna be filming me today and then we're gonna do her Rebel 300 oil change. Okay, let's get started. Check out the description down below for product links. Hit that subscribe button and let's get cruising. Make sure your bike is nice and warmed up before the oil change. Four liters of full synthetic, one oil filter, one 17 millimeter socket, a nice extension to get in there nice and easy. You're gonna need some type of a ratchet. You could do this with a 17 millimeter wrench, but prefer a ratchet. Nice uh, wrench to get the filter off. And I made a makeshift little uh, drain pan right here with a box and a bag. You gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna move our protector for the coolant line and we're going to get that 17 mil, make sure it fits nice on there. Then we got our extension and then we got our ratchet. We're gonna crack that bolt. And this is 22 foot pounds, so it's not too tight. Carefully thread out the oil plug. Try not to make a mess. And let that oil drain out. Wow, it's pretty dark. This is pretty much a whole season of riding right here with conventional oil. That's pretty exciting oil change for the beginning of the season. So once we're all drained out, now we're gonna have to get ready to crack off that oil filter. I have a nice little pair of pliers right here that I use. You can also have a filter wrench or you can get creative some other way to get that off. That's up to you. And that should come off pretty easily there and just be careful not to spill anything because spilt oil all over the ground is definitely not fun, that's for sure. Got the new oil filter right here. Looks pretty good. Once it's all done, get your oil plug back in. Remember, hand tighten, hand thread the oil plug at first so it doesn't cross thread. Once it's in all the way, we're gonna torque it to 22 foot pounds and then your drain plug's good. Make sure the washer looks good and maybe if you can get a new one from the dealer, put a new washer or at least make sure your existing one is in good shape and monitor it and just make sure it's not leaking after you've ridden a few kilometers. I take my oil, let's get rid of it. I pour it in an old empty container. I don't wanna be mixing chemicals here. So I get rid of that oil clean up the place a little bit and start putting back together. First step is clean up our oil filter area. Then we're gonna put some fresh oil on the seal of the oil filter. Then we're gonna hand tighten that on. And this only goes to seven foot pounds. So it's really not that tight. My hand was a little oily, so I wanted to give it one little extra turn with the wrench. There we go. And today we're using full synthetic, and I wanna see if the full synthetic helps this bike shift a little smoother. Pretty exciting, because this is the first time this bike's ever had full synthetic. So hopefully it makes the bike shift a lot smoother, and it's awesome. So we're gonna start with 3.3 liters. If you need to add any, add it 50 milliliters at a time, and check it in between every time you add it. So then we're gonna put our fill cap on and we're gonna start it up for about two to three minutes, let it warm up. Then you're going to shut it down and let it sit for a minute. Make sure the bike's completely level. Then pull the dipstick out, make sure it's nice and cleaned off so you can get a nice, fresh, accurate reading. Then the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is dip the stick back in to the hole, but don't thread it in. Just dip it in as far as it goes, pull it out, and now this is your accurate reading. As long as the bike's upright and you're sitting on it like it would be flat as possible, make sure the bike's as level as possible and make sure the O-ring comes out with the dipstick. That could cause an inaccurate reading. Always refer to your bike's user manual to get the exact oil capacity and reading instructions. This bike rides like a dream. 
Awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and we'll see you next time.